Got so a deer? deer? We got a deer. All right, well, you're number one, buddy. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's finally here, Doe Day. Annual Doe Day. This is the first year that we are opening it to the public. So we have invited anybody in the Metro Atlanta area that has their own spots to go out and try and take a deer on one of their places. Again, this needs to happen in these areas. A lot of these places are super overpopulated. So this is only about reducing the numbers, making sure that there's a little more balance uh, among the local herds that we have here in this area of Georgia. We're going to be piling people in here. Um, we're going to have the doors open. We'll have fires out in Cornhole and doing a couple cool giveaways. Uh, we're covering the cost of processing. Uh, we're catering food. Y'all don't have to pay for that. It's just kind of our chance to get the hunting community together, give back a little bit, but with the greater mission of donating deer. We've got a lot of food banks we worked up with that are like desperate for protein. I've been chumming up some areas. We're going to do some more chumming today. I've got to hang some sets. Uh, we got a bunch of people coming in town tonight, and uh, it's going to be fun. I'm really looking. I, I almost look forward to this hunt almost as anything I look forward to throughout the whole deer season. So we got a lot of work to do today. And also, before we get going, last announcement. If y'all are interested in doing this, we're actually gonna be doing two rounds of giveaways to bring some subscribers in to hunt with us. We'll put y'all in trees. It'll be a all-inclusive deal. We'll pay for your flight, travel, whatever you need to get here. We're gonna do a giveaway through our merch. Uh, so we're gonna do the first round to choose a subscriber through this video. If you buy an item of our merch, you're automatically entered in to win. And then we'll do another round in the fall and choose two subscribers. So pay attention to the details of that. You're gonna have a chance to win, to come hunt with us uh, from the giveaway we're doing until March. And then again, we'll do it in the fall. Choose our two winners to hunt with us at the end of January for the season, so. I didn't know you guys were gonna be here. I literally just picked up an entire trailer full of merch. Y'all come look at this real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it should last us a couple weeks, I think. The whole thing's full? Yeah, pretty much. So I'm not going to unload that right now. We're going to leave that in there for a bit. But we finally got some uh, camo hoodies. Um, been trying to get camo stuff in for a long time, and we finally have it. So hopefully when this video drops, that stuff will be up on the website. So for y'all watching that have, like, tried to get our merch and haven't, like, we're sorry. It just, we, like, can't keep it in stock, which is a good thing. But we're super grateful for the support. But it's, yeah, we're just trying to keep ramping it up till we can keep stuff, stuff in stock for y'all. Parkour, baby. Easy peasy. that I shot four does out of in one sit last year. There is also a Mac Daddy coal buck in here. I just call him Spike because he's literally the biggest spike I've ever seen in my life. So I am gunning for that deer. As you can tell, the whole crew, well not the whole crew, but most of the crew has made it in town. Um, just had dinner and we're going to pick it up in the morning. We're all dispersing to our dope places and then we'll meet back at the HQ tomorrow. Hopefully knocking some deer down. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Everybody's excited.
<clears throat> I know you couldn't tell, but that was a cluster trying to get on that deer. First doe on Doe Day 2024. Down. I hadn't even been, hardly been able to try and get set up. It's just as soon as I got in the stand this morning, there was deer on me and I was kind of pinned down the whole time. But. Let her clear these branches. You ready? No. Oh, go ahead. All right, go ahead. This morning I've taken enough out of this spot. I'm gonna save some doe tags <clears throat> for another place tonight that's again loaded with does. Three deer down, now the work begins. There's one. Sleds are great. Thank you, sir. Whew. So the chili that we're gonna have for everybody tomorrow is coming straight from an elk that Drew killed in New Mexico, which is gonna be pretty cool. We're headed to the restaurant now to drop this stuff off. Um, gracious plenty, and then he's gonna actually get started on all this tomorrow, but. That's pretty cool that, uh, I, dude, I'm like looking forward to this chili almost more than anything. He's got like a, he's got like a bomb recipe. What are you listening to? <laughs> hey man, I'm getting crunk up in here. Good luck. <laughs> you too. Good luck. This is how you know it's doe day, when we just have the massive lineup of just vehicles everywhere and I start getting the stares at my neighbors. But let's not forget the most important vehicle of all in this driveway, the Jets P to Honda. We've actually got big plans for that vehicle. Let's go get in the woods. Hey, Baba. Hello. You know, Welcome. I'm ready. Return to the old tree, third time. Third time's a charm. And then Mr. Bibman back there. <laughs> You're over here. No, oh, my oh, this time? Yeah. yeah. If you shoot Spikezilla, <laughs> I'll be happy for you, but I will be honest, I will be disappointed. <laughs> this is the old stomping ground. This is the old stomping ground. A lot of deer have died due to us being here. <laughs> with I think we've averaged like <laughs> six or seven a year off this place. Yeah, so I'm excited. Lee's obviously has got these spots all primed up and ready. And we got hand warmers. This is probably the coldest we've had for doe day yet. Yes. It's cold, it's windy. And tomorrow's gonna be worse. I got the lift back in my hand. I dropped it this morning and knocked my sight. I didn't have time to adjust anything, so I grabbed my backup bow, the phase four. Shot the lift this afternoon. She's good to go. We got her back in the tree, locked and loaded.
any does that come in, we're going to put them down and donate them this year um, to the Venison Project, which is Seek One's heading that up. So, uh, wish us luck. We're here in the blind. Let's we'll see if we can make it happen. Spikezilla is down, baby! Let's go! Yes! Okay. That is the one of the craziest bucks I've ever had on camera in my life. Freaking Spikezilla, a mega spike. I cannot wait to show the boys back at the HQ when we roll into camp with this freaking spike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm telling Jason and and, uh, and Chris that it's a doe, hundred percent. I'm just telling them it's a doe. I can't believe that just happened. Oh yeah. I can't stand it. I've got to go see this deer real quick. Here he is, right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know he's not technically 100% a spike, but he's doggone close enough. <laughs> I can't wait to show him. I thought I was going to get skunked and then last light, doe came One doe? Uh, one doe and two young ones. Huh. So. I watched her fall. She didn't go far. They blew at you too. Yeah, the first set. I I, I ended up missing one. Well, let's go grab this thing and get out of here. I got the slit out. So. Okay. Hey, no! No! You no! That's what yeah, I was like, this yeah. is suspicious. That's awesome. <laughs> no. I didn't even yeah. see that. <laughs> I just see this giant thing coming out of his head. <laughs> no no way, dude. <laughs> That's so sick. Is that not no the coolest way. deer ever? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, Spike Zilla, it's the dirt, is, baby. Oh, yeah, I just caught this doe. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, two little ones with her. <laughs> is that not the coolest deer that ever? That is unreal. <laughs> Dude.
Yeah, you, I, was, I was you like, sucker. I was like, my reaction's not gonna be great on camera. Let me, let me film. Yeah. Oh, that was a little suspicious. I'm like, you shot him. Dude, that's so crazy. Right you at last him. light, a spike, a little spike came in, and yeah. then uh, like five, he kept looking behind him, and then like five yeah. minutes later, he came walking, just slipping in. That's so cool. Is that not awesome? Dude, that is insane. What? A, I mean, that's a one one. Yeah, you'll but, never, never yeah. kill something like that again. I don't care if he's not a true spike. I'm calling him a spike. A spike. I mean, hundred percent. I do. I honestly, I freaked out in the tree. Did I was you? so pumped. Yeah, I was so pumped. You sucker. I thought you were gonna hear me screaming across the pod because I was like, no. yeah! <laughs> dude, oh, that's cool. What a deer. I don't know if I I haven't been that pumped on a deer in a long time. Really? A spike. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the surprise? That's the surprise. Nice, Let's get it. <laughs> Old Spikezilla. You just can't handle it. No way can't. Old Spikezilla. <laughs> Dude, that's too cool. You can't, you can't get away from the box, can you? <laughs> no. Yeah. How old are you not cool? See, that thing's got like a 22-inch main beam. I know. <laughs> and that's all he's got. He's ancient because yeah, yeah. he was... I got oh. He was, I mean, he was that uh, big Dallas. last year. He's, a, he's the exact same last year. Yeah, it's a, it's a very odd. Uh, that's awesome. That's a cool deer. It's a very Got the deer covered. Uh, first day, Doe Day 2024, just our guys. 26 deer in the trailer, so we're off to a pretty strong start. All right, we're about an hour out from people starting to show up with deer. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of kind of what we got going on. You think this is gonna go horribly, or you think we're gonna pull this off? Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Depends how many people show up. If we land in the middle, I'd call it a win. I'm gonna give a walkthrough real quick. There's been a lot of people that have, especially local, that have pitched in big time to help. We're gonna have Oak Street Bottle Shop right here. Um, they've provided all the tables, all the heat lamps, um, and they were a huge help in helping us get set up. Gracious Plenty back here, which y'all can come check out. So Connor cooked up a chili from Drew's Elk from New Mexico. And it's doing for like 10 hours now. The whole room yeah. smells <laughs> awesome. But Gracious Plenty, downtown Roswell off Cannon Street, amazing yes, restaurant huge thank you to y'all no for thank you helping us out appreciate you. couldn't have done it without you so this is kind of our just freebie corner we've got some shirts uh realtree sent us a bunch of hats backpacks sweatshirts t-shirts everything so like huge thanks to realtree they also gave a big donation to the venison project which is helping cover the cost of all the processing of all of these deer um, so a huge thank you to them. The next one is Tethered sent us a saddle and it's like the grand prize giveaway. We're getting creative on how we're gonna give it away. I'll show it to you real quick though. So Tethered sent us a platform saddle and predator pack as a grand giveaway. We just shot Spikezilla last night and we were talking, we're like, what does he score? And we're gonna do kind of like a, a like count the beans in the jar, guess closest to how many beans are in a jar, something like that. We're gonna see who can guess closest to the score. Whoever gets the closest score of that deer is gonna win the saddle. Um, that's how we're gonna do it. 19 and 5 eighths inch spike. Take it to the bank. You'd be hard pressed to find a bigger Georgia spike than this sucker right here. I know he's not technically a spike, but whatever. Okay. He came to a whopping, I need to make sure no one hears this. He came to a whopping 90 and 1 8 inches, which is a lot more than I was actually guessing myself. I was guessing like 70s. So, someone guesses 90 and 1 8 or the closest person to 90 and 1 8 wins a brand new tethered saddle. Gonna get some interesting guesses on this one. Thanks for coming. Oh, we, got a deer? we got a deer. All right, well, you're number one, buddy. Am I? Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, I know I recognize you guys. Y'all dressed up with us at the show, right? Dude, I knew I recognized these guys. They dressed up as me, Drew, Kendall, and Slade, right? Yes, sir. And then showed up at, at an expo looking for us. The Kendall with the red hair? <laughs> that got me good. That's awesome. Yeah, I like I I recognize like, I was like I swear really? I've seen y'all before. <laughs> well, not a, a lot of them that pile up like that size. I know, I know. We appreciate y'all having us participate. Yeah. I tell you what, the thing that's really cool about it, I mean, it's gonna be fun to get to hang out with the folks that we live thirty seconds at a time vicariously through. You know, all y'all. But this is deer camp. This is deer camp. And when you are an urban hunter, you miss out on that. You I do. mean it's gone. You don't have it near as much. The thing that I saw last year with this this whole deal, and I'm friends with Zach and uh, Griffin, but I watched it online and it was like, dude, they're having deer camp. It's the camaraderie, it's the spending time with friends, and you can see that through all the posts that y'all did. So inviting us, the other suburban hunters around here, to be able to come together in a deer camp is yeah. freaking awesome. It's something I mean, it's that, so sweet. It's something that like is really important to us. At the yeah. core of it all is the camaraderie of everything. First, I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for coming. Uh, I was asking Michael about this earlier. I think it was like 2015 when we did our first doe day. It was literally like seven or eight of us guys like just going out, shooting some does. And to see like what this has turned into is pretty freaking cool. Yeah, so thank all y'all for coming. This is uh, our chance to get to spend time with you guys. We don't get to do that much. Uh, so just to see y'all and interact with y'all and I know we hadn't had a chance to talk with all y'all much But uh, we we enjoy this a lot. So like thank you all for taking the time To go try and hunt a deer or even just making the drive to come see us. So We have donated over 50 deer. It's probably closer to 60 deer and yeah, uh, These food banks need this protein really bad so all of these deer are gonna really help a lot of people in the city that need it. Again, thank you all for that. that was good. Realtree donated money to cover the processing for everybody that donated deer. Couldn't have done it without them. And hopefully y'all will come back, we'll keep doing this, making it bigger, and we'll keep asking them to give us some more money so we can keep processing deer and donating them. But, uh, tethered, Chip Elliott, where is Chip? This man is gonna process all of these deer. You've got your hands full, but again, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. For the tethered setup, we have a tie. Oh, nice. Now, if the one of the persons has left, Whoever is here will take it, but if they're both here, we're going to do a rock, paper, scissors to see who wins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is Ashton Smith here? Yeah. All right, we got one. Yeah, good job. Dude. Come on up. Sean Watson. Okay, we got to do it. How do y'all want to do it? Two out of three or just straight up? Two out of three. Two out of three. They're doing two out of three. All right. All right. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. All right. Ready? All right. So you got one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Tie ball game. Tie ball game. <laughs> Finish. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Woo! Baby! Out of baby! What was the score? I feel like. Oh, yeah. So, the score, the closest guess was 89 and 7 eighths. He was 90 and 1 eighth. 
So, two ways. Again, I'll let y'all get back to it, but thank y'all for coming. We'll hope to see you guys next year. Oh, yeah. So we are picking up uh, all the deer meat from the doe shoot. We donated over 60 deer. And what we did was uh, out here locally, we actually donated half of them to locals. Then the other half we're picking up now, loading up in the truck and taking to Salvation Army in downtown Atlanta. I think we've got about 700 pounds of deer meat to donate to the Salvation Army. And they said it's gonna last them maybe about three months, uh, which is, huge for them so Tristan just pulled up which is perfect timing because we got some boxes to load just pulled up and there actually is a news crew here Local hunters hope to prove that suburban deer hunting solves more than one problem. Those hunters dropped off 700 pounds of venison to the Salvation Army. Fox 5's Alex Whitler joins us from the live desk to explain why. Alex? Yeah, Courtney and Rice, the hunters we spoke with today say they know this is a polarizing topic, but they believe their work in Fulton Hall and Forsyth counties helps our area threefold with the environment, improving living condi conditions, and feeding the hungry. The 700 pounds of venison they donated will feed hundreds of people daily for three months.